Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see an IIT JE Advanced 2017 question. This is a statement problem based question and this question will be useful for CBSE and State Board plus 2 students who will be taking their examinations. Statement problems are important compulsory problems in all examinations of board and CBSE. So let us see the question. So it is question number 32 in that particular question paper. Compounds P and R upon ozonolysis produces Q and S respectively. The molecular formula of Q and S is C8H8O. Q undergoes canisero reaction but not haloform reaction. Whereas S undergoes haloform reaction but not canisero reaction. The options with suitable combination of P and R respectively is R. So in this particular question, we see two starting materials and the same ozonolysis reaction is done to the starting materials and they have given one of the products in both cases and both the products have the same molecular formula. But then it is not the same product because one of the product undergoes Canizero reaction while the other undergoes haloform reaction. So it is a mixture of two different products. Uh, sorry, it, it is two different products and we are supposed to find out in this particular given options how R, P and R could be or which of these combinations could be a suitable combination for P and R. So let us see the question. So before seeing the question, we see here there are three important reactions that are spelt out. The ozonolysis reaction, Canizero reaction and haloform reaction. So first we will see these three reactions individually and then we will work out how to solve this problem quite easily using simple tricks. So ozonolysis reaction is an oxidative cleavage of an alkene. So alkenes are cleaved to form carbonyl compounds. So if both the R groups in the alkene are alkyl substituted then we will get a ketone. If one of the R group is a hydrogen we will get a aldehyde. So all alkenes on ozonolysis will give carbonyl compounds. So this ozonolysis can happen by two workup methods. One is called as the reductive workup. Another one is called as the oxidative workup. In reductive workup, the reagent that is commonly used is zinc, acetic acid or dimethyl sulfide. In case of oxidative workup, the reagent used is hydrogen peroxide. So whenever we, ozon we see ozonolysis reaction, what we must remember is that the reagent that is used. So is it a reductive workup or is it an oxidative workup? In case of a reductive workup, there is no change to the product that is formed. That is the bonds are broken and oxygen is inserted into the bonds. Whereas in case of an oxidative workup, if the one of the carbonyl compound is an aldehyde, it will further get oxidized to form a carboxylic acid. So this is the change that you will see in an oxidative workup. So always remember when hydrogen peroxide is used and if there is an aldehyde possible, then that aldehyde will become carboxylic acid in ozonolysis reaction. So this is the most important thing to remember in case of ozonolysis, whether the given reaction is reductive workup or oxidative workup. Next, we will see Canizero's reaction. In case of Canizero's reaction, it is a base promoted disproportionation reaction. So when I say base promoted disproportionation reaction, it means there is a base which is usually a strong base, concentrated strong base which is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. And then another important parameter is the aromatic or aliphatic aldehydes should not have any alpha hydrogen. So in this case, benzaldehyde and formaldehyde are there. Formaldehyde does not have an alpha carbon at all. So there is no question of alpha hydrogen. Whereas in case of benzaldehyde, this carbon is actually a alpha carbon, but there is no alpha hydrogen in benzaldehyde. So that is the reason why benzaldehyde and formaldehyde can undergo Canizero's reaction. Now coming to disproportionation reaction. A disproportionation reaction is one where the substrate gets oxidized and reduced 
simultaneously. So here we see benzaldehyde is oxidized to benzoic acid and reduced to benzyl alcohol. So the points to note in a Canizzaro reaction is the starting material has no alpha hydrogen and the products are oxidized and reduced products of the starting material and the base used is the concentrated strong base. So next haloform reaction. In a haloform reaction, we see this reaction is popular for methyl ketones and it is called as exhaustive halogenation. It means all the three hydrogens of the methyl group is replaced by halogen group. That is why this reaction is called as a haloform reaction, sorry, exhaustive halogenation reaction. It is called as haloform because one of the products that is formed is haloform. So, if it is uh, chlorine, it is chloroform. If it is iodine, it is iodoform. If X is chlorine, if X is iodine. And then this reaction is actually reaction of methyl ketones with halogen in the presence of a base. So, this reaction is also an important reaction uh, with respect to iodoform because iodoform is a yellow precipitate and which is a very important reaction to identify whether the given carbonyl compound is a methyl ketone or not. And it need not be only a methyl ketone. Compounds which have a, this kind of a carbonyl methyl substituent, substituent, like say for example, acetaldehyde can also undergo haloform reaction. So any group that has this C double bond O CH3 group can undergo haloform reaction. Also any um, alcohol which has this kind of a secondary alcohol moiety then those alcohols can also undergo haloform reactions. So now let us go to the question. So in this particular question, we are given ozonolysis, Canizero reaction and haloform reaction. So we are given the starting materials. So by simple cleaving of the given option, we can very easily find out which of them are Q and S and as a result, we can find out P and R in these combinations, which of the options will be right. And besides this, one important mark uh, point to note in this particular question is the molecular formula. So, actually P will break into Q and X, some other moiety. Likewise, R will break into S into Y, which is some other moiety. But then the comparison is between Q and S only. We are not bothered about the other moiety that will be formed. So, P is actually uh, the starting material. It will result in Q and X. Likewise, R will form S and Y. So, we are not bothered about these two entities. We are given only these two entities and we are asked to find P and R. So, P and R can be found out if we know Q and S. So, the similarity between Q and S is they have the same molecular formula. So, if we can find out which fragment of P and R are having this segment, then we can very easily find the answer. So, now let us look at the solution. So, in this question, we see that P and R on ozonolysis produces Q and S. So, we, are, we have to find out whether this particular combination is P and R. So, for that we have to know whether P and R forms Q and S. So, if it is forming Q and S, the molecular formula should be C8H8O. So, there are two fragments, sorry, two starting materials that are given here. We have to find whether they match as P and R. Can we propose them as P and R? For that, P should form Q and R should form S. So, we will see whether such a possibility is possible for this particular uh, combination that is given here. So, for that first we have to cleave at the double bond because ozonolysis we know the cleaving happens at double bond and then we get carbonyl compounds. So, first and foremost what is the easiest way to uh, rule out the question uh, options in the uh, given question is to find out if they have the molecular formula C8H8O. So, in this particular uh, segment you, uh, you see here um, this particular segment, the left side segment of A has actually five, uh, six carbons of the phenyl group 
and uh, one carbon outside another carbon uh, on the uh, carbonyl carbon which is a carbonyl carbon so in total uh, let me write the segment which we are proposing for q so from p we get q so this is the possible segment likewise for r the possible segment is yes and this is the possible segment the other segment we need not worry because that is not a problem at all so does this segment that i have drawn has the molecular formula c8ha2 so you don't have to draw the segment itself from by seeing the formula itself you can understand because oxygen is the only new entity in this particular molecular formula so the first and foremost thing to check out is whether the molecular formula is c8ha2o for the scribbled fragment so here we see in case of uh, the option which are considering to be p there is c8 and of course h8 because there are four phenyl protons three on the methyl and one which is part of the benzaldehyde unit so we have c h8 o as the molecular formula for this particular segment so it, there is a possibility of this being q and uh, the given starting material is given here and it is q because it undergoes canizaros reaction because it is like benzaldehyde it has no alpha hydrogen so it is q so now coming to the next we are if we are proposing this molecule to be q sorry r if this molecule to be <coughs> r then it must form yes so again molecular formula is important so we are having c5 uh, c6 uh, h5 so there are six carbon in the phenyl and two carbon outside so it is eight and then h8 because five in the phenyl and three outside so h8o so segment the option a has the molecular formula same for q and s then uh, q undergoes canizaro reaction and s undergoes haloform reaction yes yes is a methyl ketone so it will definitely undergo haloform reaction so the given option a is a possible answer it is an option that can be a possible answer now coming to b we have to consider b the same way so let fragment at the double bond so we are looking at b as a p and q sorry p and r so p must form q and r must form yes so for that both of them must have the molecular formula c8 h8o so when we see option 1 which is which we are looking at p again it is c6 h4 so and then there are two methyl uh, one methyl group outside and there is a hydrogen here so it is c8 h8 o likewise coming to the next moit where we are looking at it as r again phenyl ring has six carbon there is one uh, on the met, uh, on the ketone group and one on the uh, methyl group so we are having c8 h8 o so b option also is correct because again in the b option also we see what we get will be a benzaldehyde kind of derivative in the methyl uh, ketone and uh, uh, yes has a methyl ketone kind of a derivative so in the b option p forms q which is a benzaldehyde derivative which undergoes canizaro reaction and in the f option we get a methyl ketone uh, or acetophenone which is also a molecule which can undergo haloform reaction now we go to option c in case of option c also we can cleave the molecule the same way and then check for the molecular formula first so again here six carbons in the phenyl ring and two carbon outside so this is c8h8 uh, o uh, this fragment will be c8h8o because uh, six uh, eight is uh, four on the phenyl ring and uh, three outside and one here which is like a benzaldehyde moiety so if we say c c also looks like p possibility of c is like p because again it is having a benzaldehyde kind of derivative and so it is looking like q and so um there is this this has a possibility of uh, p now coming to 
the next option which should be r again the, for for it to be r we must have the molecular formula ch8h2 so here we see the phenyl ring has six carbon plus there is one here outside methyl which is seven and there is another um, car carbonyl carbon and then another methyl so the molecular formula has nine carbon atoms don't have to worry about the other hydrogens at all so this particular moiety is not r because it is having nine carbon atoms so c is not the possible option even if one of the molecule is correct so similarly for d for d when we see d's molecule is like that of one of the molecules of a so this is p but then uh, let us see the other one so in the other one we see it is again uh, the phenyl ring has six carbon so again outside it is seven eight and nine so again this is having nine carbons so this cannot be uh, yes the product cannot be yes and so the starting material cannot be r so uh, in this case also d is not a possibility so in total what we see is from this reaction that uh, of the given four possible options only a and b are correct hope you understood thank you like and subscribe